Hey guys, welcome back to Stacking Stocks, and many thanks for tuning in today. What do we have for you today? Trump Media SPAC stock doubles, bringing two-day gains to 800% in a retail trading frenzy. What do we know about this? Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Don't miss out on important updates. Digital World Acquisition Corporation, the SPAC that's taking former President Donald Trump's planned social media platform public, soared for a second day as retail traders continued to pile in. The SPAC, which trades under the ticker DWAC on the NASDAQ, skyrocketed 284% at one point and closed up 107% at $94.20 a share. Trading in the stock was halted due to volatility multiple times. October 22nd's rally brought the SPAC's two-day gains to more than 800%. The Trump effect wasn't limited to DWAC. Funware, the advertising software startup involved with Trump's 2020 re-election campaign, jumped in unison with DWAC. The stock rallied a whopping 471% to $8.74 per share, bringing its gains to nearly 750%. There is no indication DWAC and Funware have a business relationship. SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company, which raises money on the public markets with a goal of merging with a private company and taking it public within two years. Investors typically have no clue what the target company will be when the SPAC debuts and trades on the stock exchange. Signs emerge that small-time retail investors could be behind the monstrous rally in the SPAC. On October 21st, DWAC was the single most actively traded stock on Fidelity's brokerage platform. DWAC stock saw more than 500 million shares trade hands. That's an absolutely gigantic number. For context, the next most actively traded stocks on the day were Sundial Growers and Camber Energy, which traded 320 million and 140 million shares respectively. Put another way, an absolutely gigantic amount of money flooded into this new company. That gave a major boost to speculative stocks more generally. Prices rallied for various other SPACs and SPAC warrants. After a difficult fall for meme stock traders, there were signs of life. This might be just the thing to make SPACs great again. If it is, that should give a tailwind to AMC stock and other popular meme names as well. Of course, DWAC's trading volume is even more impressive considering its high share price compared to Sundial and Camber, which are penny stocks. Meanwhile, the ticker was among the most popular mentions on Reddit's Wall Street Bets. The SPAC was also a trading topic on Twitter, which indicated that DWAC could be having a meme stock moment like GameStop and AMC. One top post on the Wall Street Bets message board on October 22nd featured what appeared to be the user's equity portfolio, touting daily gains of over $10,000 from betting on the SPAC. The post, which called the former president Daddy Trump, quickly drew more than 800 comments. The new company, the yet-to-be-launched Trump Media and Technology Group, said its mission is to create a rival to the liberal media consortium and fight back against the big tech companies of Silicon Valley, which have used their unilateral power to silence opposing voices in America. This is crazy. The move came after Trump got banned by social media giants Twitter and Facebook earlier this year after he was accused of inciting the January 6th Capitol riot by a mob of his supporters. The violence interrupted the confirmation of Trump's Electoral College loss to President Joe Biden. But that's just a side note. Warrants in the SPAC, which trade under the ticker DWACW, also experienced outside trading volume on October the 21st. Warrants are a deal sweetener that offers early investors more compensation for their cash. There are contracts that give the holder the right to purchase additional shares in the future at a certain price. Perhaps the best angle for this for AMC is the sort of people who are most likely to buy DWAC stock. They're upset with the traditional media. They have some alternative views about controversial issues. This sort of thinking combines well with the anti-Wall Street, anti-establishment rhetoric out of the AMC community. The AMC stock bulls believe they were victimized by Robinhood and financial firms in January when trading was halted in the meme stock names. They see an organized pattern of behavior between various actors such as Melvin Capital and Citadel to manipulate the prices of GameStop, AMC, and other battleground securities. This sort of thinking naturally lines up with many of the beliefs of the people that would be the most interested in Trump's media company. 
there's a strong anti-establishment streak in the meme stock community. The DWAC stock phenomenon is the best marketing for meme trading that we've seen in months. We're already watching this play out. Tara Bull is a prominent AMC stock supporter with nearly 50,000 Twitter followers. She hosts frequent call-in shows to talk about AMC stock. On October 21st, she went on a widely listened to Twitter Spaces event to talk about both DWAC and AMC stocks. For newer participants that are just finding out about meme trading thanks to Trump's SPAC, this is a golden opportunity to discover other favorites such as AMC and GameStop. The long-term business outlook for AMC remains poor. Box office numbers have been bad to terrible this year. AMC's financials are weak and show little sign of intermediate term improvement. If you want a fundamental reason to own AMC stock, we've got nothing to offer you. However, few people own AMC because they actually think the economics behind it are compelling. Rather, AMC is an investment in the meme stock community, the spirit of rising up against Wall Street and taking on the fat cats. It's an appeal based on emotion rather than data or financial logic. So far, bears that have bet against AMC and GameStop or other such stocks have gotten run over. An economics professor would tell you it makes little sense, but it's happening anyway. Adding a high-profile Trump SPAC or meme stock to the mix can only help AMC. It will bring more anti-establishment folks with an axe to grind to the stock market. Once they finish taking their positions in DWAC stock, they'll see what else is out there. When they discover the AMC community, it should help the movie theater company expand its shareholder base further and give support to the share price. AMC Entertainment Holdings stock fell more than 14% in just the last week and has completely underperformed the S&P 500, which was up 2%. If you look at the change over the last 10 days and one month, the stock has dropped 1% and 8% respectively, thus having lagged the broader market on both occasions. Now, is AMC stock set to drop further, or could we expect some recovery? We believe that there's an equal chance of a rise and a fall in AMC stock over the next month. In the three months end of June 30th, AMC sales were $444 million. That's a huge improvement from the $18.9 million in the same period last year. Billions of doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered, and people are more comfortable visiting theaters. That's an improvement, but it's still not enough. In its most recent quarter, expenses far outstripped revenue, leading to a net loss of $344 million. Management has tried to lower spending and conserve cash, but the company's high fixed costs are difficult to whittle down. For instance, rent expense stays more or less the same whether revenue rises or falls. When the company reports third quarter results, probably on November 1st, investors will want to see if revenue rose enough to cover expenses. Investors also will look for positive cash flow from operations. Some expenses, such as depreciation, are non-cash items, so AMC can have positive cash flow from operations while generating net losses. Nevertheless, even after a disappointing September, too, in which the stock retreated 19%, AMC remains in base building mode after the company smashed second quarter estimates in early August. AMC still trades more than 40% below its $72.62 all-time high, so at that level it doesn't yet trade at an IBD-style entry point. For those who want to go along, watch to see if a new bullish chart pattern will form. Without a doubt, AMC is still building a new base but it will need at least several additional weeks, if not months, for AMC to build the right side of that new base in a bullish fashion. Watch for a potential handle to form too. AMC shares are showing an encouraging rebound back above this medium-term technical support and resistance level. That's the end of our session today. We'll keep you posted on more updates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us today here on Stacking Stocks. See you next time.